20 years into my software engineering career, and one thing that has always impressed me is the fact that every dev has a willingness to listen to everyone's arguments and truly come up with the best solution, specifically in open source. Moron. This thing deleted three months of work. I had just downloaded VS Code as an alternative and I was just playing with the source control option, seeing how I wanted the stage. Five thousand files. I clicked discard and it deleted all my files, all of them, permanently. How the fuck is that even possible? Three months with five thousand files, that's 55 new files a day. And you never put it in source control? Skill issues. Absolutely a waste of time. Stay away from this tool set. I tried installing to a local directory. The poor design of the headers produced countless compile errors. I tried installing from my Linux distro repo and the libraries were not included in the install. I tried doing a sudo make install and used package config to supply the compile and link parameters and got countless link errors. I am no noob. I have written and compiled so many programs under Linux and Unix and Google Mock slash Google Test have wasted my time more than any other library I tried to use. You basically you basically have to be a CMake guru to use these tools. Stay away unless you have considerable DevOps experience. Note to self, don't invite Mark to the next party. Parties are an absolute waste of time anyways, unless if you have considerable social experience. Hey, the name is the Primogen. You may know me because I force pushed to main, but you probably shouldn't do that. You know what you should do? You should probably learn how to stack your PRs. Introducing Graphite, today's sponsor, which takes your PRs from looking like this, disgusting, to looking like this. Graphite is the code review platform that puts the developer experience first, giving you all the features you've been missing from GitHub. Stacked pull requests, intelligent notifications, and a filtered PR inbox. Fully integrated with GitHub, Graphite allows you to use a stacking workflow to break up large feature changes into stacks of small PRs that can be reviewed and merged independently or all at once with the click of a button. Stacking with Graphite allows you to ship code as fast as you can write it. So check out Graphite at gt.dev slash prime. Yeah, what's wrong with people on GitHub? Why you gotta be like that? Good looking. Perfect for gorgeous looks. Can push as soon as possible. Epic Games Art V2 Admin, Epic Games Developers, Epic Team Admin. Epic Team Admin verify the pull request and merge ASAP. I think you just notified 398,463 members. Nothing's better than when you get a company-wide email and someone responds like, nice job, but CCs the entire company. This guy just nice jobbed the entire company. Oh, it's Hacktoberfest already. How to ruin your day with one easy at take to 400,000 people. I like turtles. Don't threaten me with a good time. I hope one day I too can notify 400,000 people for a readme change. Remove my password from the list so hackers won't be able to hack me. No description provided. Dolphins. It's such a good password. Dolphins, man. I want to meet the person who when prompted with the password box goes, ain't nobody ever going to guess my favorite sea creatures. Is my password hunter too safe? Uploading to test pie pie. I had some trouble using Twine to upload a package to test PyPy. I tried this, but it looks like it went to regular PyPy. I assume I'm doing something wrong here, but any docs on how to Twine and test PyPy together would be appreciated. Completed. Were you able to resolve the issue? No. I decided I don't care. I wish I had the courage to be this guy because that was the most relatable reply I've ever seen. I just wanted to start by saying you did well, but not good enough. You're shit at modding, period. I first have an issue with my release not recognizing my save file and come back to one month later to update my P4G mod loader to 1.4.0 and now Persona 4 crashes on startup. What the fuck is next? Don't even get me started with the release.json file. Whoever runs this mod loader shit should just quit. I'm being completely honest here. You are doing a shit job and can't fix your shit no matter how many bugs get fucking reported. Take this as construction criticism, P4G. Ain't yo shit, man. Go make some mods for Cyberpunk or something. Oh wait, how the fuck are you gonna do that when it's the most buggiest game of all time? Yeah, y'all shit. Cyberpunk out there catching strays. <laughs> Imagine just devoting your life to building mods and someone starts off by saying, hey, it was a good run, but you're terrible at this. You gotta consider something else. At least you're not as bad as Cyberpunk. I'm not sure who got hurt more in that one. <laughs> The default border width unit pixel is the wrong choice. By default, the unit EM font size relative should be used instead of PX absolute. It looks ugly at small font sizes. For example, three pixels will look good at large font sizes, but ugly at small font sizes. This way it always adjusts according to the font size. This is an opinionated extension that's designed to mimic the default appearance of Adam. Please feel free to fork this and suit your needs. Who cares what Adam looks like? It's a bug, bigot. <laughs> I've never seen a zero to 60 that fast 
and I've spent countless hours on Twitter. This guy can't really be that triggered. I don't even think Adam has such a bug, moron. You keep using the horde. I don't know think it means what you think it means. He was so frustrated he had to make two comments in a row. He had to come back just in case. Y yeah? Yeah, well, you're a moron also, bigot! Open source isn't all just people calling people bigots for no reason. Sometimes it actually can be quite useful and helpful. Scowy big no functionality at all. But what the hell, but <laughs> Senpei, your little Kawi Point implementation is getting out of control. Please have a look at this. This is actually a really detailed bug report. Sorry for the inconvenience. That wasn't covered by any test case. Fixed it now. Thanks. What the fuck? You can't be upset. It was an incredibly useful bug report. Thank Miku-chan. But this isn't Miku-chan's most notorious bug report. In fact, this one is. And it even earned- Bro, what are you talking about, man? From the React man himself. Miku-chan, you're my spirit animal. Too many emojis and concurrency and async await explanation. The explanation page for concurrency and more specifically its example with burgers become hard to read for me because of its many emojis. You go to your crushes mm. to get some fast food. Mm -hmm. You stand in line while the cashier -ching, takes your orders from the people in front of you. Then it's your turn. You place your order of two very fancy burgers mm -hmm. for your crush mm. and you. You pay cha-ching. Somebody actually thought this was a good idea. Okay, somebody wrote this documentation without the help of ChatGPT. I want you to think about that for a second. Emojis are a part of our culture. You have an objectively bad culture. I've read the documentation and I don't feel the same as reading your example as it's clearly ill-intentioned to prove your point. Emojis just make it super hard to read, man, okay? I'm not a child, so sorry. I don't use emoticons, the proper term for emojis, by the way, you zoomers. <laughs> Delete duplicate word long long in introduction. Hi friend, I deleted a duplicate word. That's intentional. I've always wanted to know what happened in that original meeting when someone suggested int and then someone's like, well, we need a smaller int. They're like, short. What about a bigger int? Long, six months later. We need something longer than long. You know, I just got done watching Star Wars and I think long, long is the way to go. If you ever think you're bad at naming stuff, just remember long, long exists. Okay, it's technically long, long int. Saying it makes me feel so stupid. Fixes a bug where your mother would delete your species after calling you a disappointment, rendering you a broken husk of a mob. Yep, so I was investigating why a player was weirdly unable to equip things or do a lot of stuff and encountered in the runtime logs that their species datum was deleted. How? Well, the answer is your mother. The hallucination of your mother uses the hallucinator species datum to create itself, which calls species, but it passes your actual species datum as in an arc, which leads to the mob having your species datum. Then when your mother goes away and deletes herself, so does your species datum, leaving the hallucinator extremely broken, bugged, and humiliated. Why is it good for the game? Nerfs your mother. She's too powerful. Now you may be thinking that I mean, that's funny, but it can't be that big of a deal, right? No, it actually is. It got voted the biggest fuck up of the year in 2023 with 37.5% of the votes, over doubling the next amount of votes to becoming an infinitely exploding grenade with this one weird trick. I hope one day I can create a bug to get an award. Okay, that is incredible. Okay, I want that award. I want that award right now. Underscore is number, not a number returns true. As NAN stands for not a number, the is number check in this case seems like it should return false. I noticed from other discussions that it is in fact on purpose. Maybe the documentation should reflect this fact explicitly. You're right, it is on purpose, and I don't think it needs to be explicitly stated. Anybody that's ever worked with IEEE 754, actually it's 754-1985, anyone that's worked with it would actually know that. Somehow JavaScript just is, it always makes me happy. The fact that not a number, though technically a floating point number, is considered a number. So to be able to find out if something's not a number using underscores library, you have to go is number and not is not a number. <laughs> Who did this? Who did this? But the funnier thing is how long this discussion went on. Many months later. This definitely seems like a case where semantics should trump technical facts. Yes, NAN may be a number according to some spec. Eventually. I was surprised too to find out that is number NAN. One debt to society later. NAN is also confusing in the document. One winner later. If is NAN number value alert number required. I don't even know what that means. You get the idea. Making is number behave correctly in a semantic sense means I'll never actually use it. Is finite appears to be the function that works the way I'd expect. Of course, one day after posting this, I discovered that is finite string number is true, even though the argument isn't a number. Nine years of discussion and the proposed fix, which was suggested nine years earlier, <laughs> takes in a string. <laughs>
Something about the whole experience is just beautiful. JavaScript is just... I love it. JavaScript. JavaScript is the only language which has the least principle of least surprise. Is it safe to use secret internals do not use or you will be fired? I want to use the undocumented property react secret internals do not use or you'll be fired, which holds some interesting insights and can be useful in some cases. No, it's not safe to use. Did the name not give it away? Like someone asked that question. Someone asked secret internals do not use or you will be fired if it's safe. <laughs> This guy probably smokes at the gas pump, okay? Santa hat on VS Code Insiders and pushing of religion is very offensive to me. Santa hat on VS Code Insiders and the pushing of religion is very offensive to me. Additional Xmas has cost millions of Jews their lives over the centuries. Yet even if this was not the case, pushing religious symbols as a part of the product update is completely unacceptable. Please remove it immediately and make it your top priority. To me, this is almost equally offensive as a swastika. Did he choose? the highest res photo just to show how small it is in comparison to the rest of the editor. Look at how tiny it is. Look at, look at, look at, look at how tiny that is. We're sorry we hurt your and others' feelings. We'll remove the Santa hat immediately. I cannot believe Microsoft capitulated to this guy. Microsoft, you're so soft. You are so soft. The guy deleted his account, probably due to the harassment. But you know what the best part is? Did you highlight over the guy's name right now? Did you see what his profile picture looks like? Lover of Santa Claus Christmas and all things holiday. Currently residing in the North Pole in Santa's bed. <laughs> They removed the Santa hat just for a guy whose profile... <laughs> it's, so, it's so bad! 